going to share something really exciting with you. We are indeed, and it involves this guy here. At this time of year, you may be seeing these everywhere, but I bet you've never imagined yourself as a pumpkin. Have you? No, I haven't either. And I don't think it looks like much like either of us, do you? No, I don't. But that's what we're going to do today. We want you to imagine that this is you. You see, God is a little bit like a gardener, and in the same way that a gardener grows amazing pumpkins, God has grown and made each and every one of us, and he loves us so much. He knows us inside out, and unfortunately he knows that just like a pumpkin has some icky stuff inside, let's see what we can get out of there, God knows that we're not perfect, that actually we have some icky stuff inside of us as well. The Bible calls this icky stuff sin. Sin is whenever we do something wrong. Perhaps we've had an unkind thought. Perhaps we've been a bit mean to somebody. Perhaps we've lied or we haven't shared. Perhaps we've even cheated or stolen. We all get things wrong. We all make mistakes. And these things are called sins. Now when God made us, he made us to be perfect because he wanted to be close to us. And God, being perfect, can only be close to perfect things. But with all this icky stuff inside us, oh, you can see how gross it is, with all this icky, sticky, yucky stuff inside of us, it means that we're not perfect anymore. But you know what? God had a plan right from the start. He knew this it would happen, and it made him sad, the thought that he couldn't be close to us. So he had a plan that would make him close to us again. He sent his son, Jesus, down to earth, not only to live an amazing life, to teach people about how much they were loved, to perform amazing miracles, and just to show people the right way to live, but the main purpose he came down to earth was to die upon the cross. By doing that, Jesus took away all of those bad things, all of that sin that was hidden inside us. So in the same way, we've just taken out all of the icky goo that was making the inside of the pumpkin yucky. Jesus took away all of the icky sin that was inside us and making us yucky inside as well. And this means that we can be close to God again. With Jesus inside our lives, we shine because Jesus is the light of the world. And if we ask him to come and be inside our lives, to forgive us of the sins, all of the bad things that we have done and to be with us, he will do exactly that. And his light will then be inside us. It will shine inside us and make us overflow with joy and happiness. So much so that everybody else will be able to see that light shining. And everyone else will want part of that light as well. So today we've learnt about how Jesus is the light of the world and about how he came down to earth to take away our sins, all of the bad things that we have done. There's another symbol that we see close to Christmas that reminds us of this, and that is the Christingle. We're going to make one of these as our craft idea today. All of the different parts represent something different, and I wanted to explain what they were to you, but it's a bit tricky when it's so small, so I've invited a special guest to help us with this. The first part of the Christingle is the orange. This represents the world that God made. We believe that he made the world and everything in it, including us. The second part of the Christingle is the four cocktail sticks. These are to represent either the four corners of the world, the four compass points, north, south, east and west, or the four seasons of the year, spring, summer, autumn and winter. And they remind us that God loves us no matter where we are in the world and no matter what time of year it is. The fruits and the sweets that are on those sticks remind us of all the good things that God has given us in the world. All of the amazing things that he has blessed us with. Because there, I think you'll agree, there's quite a few. Because we're not God and we're not perfect, we sometimes get things wrong. And the Bible calls this sinning. When we sin, it can make the world seem a bit like a dark place to be. So God sent his son Jesus to come down to earth, to be the light of the world, to shine in the dark places, and to bring love and hope to everybody. This is represented by the candle on top of the Christingle. 
The red ribbon on the Christingle reminds us of the fact that Jesus died for us on the cross and in doing so took away all of the sins and the bad things that we had done. It's red because it reminds us of his blood and it spreads all the way around the orange to remind us that no matter where we are in the earth, no matter where we are in the world, his love can stretch to reach us because it's for each and every one of us. Let's have a go at making our own Christingle. Here's how to do it. So to make your Christingle you will need an orange, you will need a piece of red ribbon or red sticky tape would do as well, you need a small piece of tin foil, a candle, four cocktail sticks and some sweets and fruits to add on as well. So the first thing you want to do is to take a cocktail stick and carefully, because the end is very sharp, you may need an adult to help you with this, thread some sweets and some fruits on one at a time until you have filled up your stick. You can make it as full as you like. I like quite a full one. And once you have filled up your stick with all of these yummy things to eat, you will then need to repeat that another three times so that you end up with four cocktail sticks in total full of yummy goodies. You're then going to place these inside the orange at a bit of an angle so they stick out at the top. Again, be careful of the points on the sticks. Don't want to poke yourself, they are very sharp. And then the next job, once they're in, is to wrap your red ribbon or your red sticky tape around. So I'm just going to tie mine on here, but obviously if you've got tape, you can just stick it down. There we go. And then I'm going to uh, use my little bit of tin foil just to make sure that when I light my candle, the wax doesn't go everywhere. So I've already cut a little tiny hole in the top of my orange. Ask an adult to help you with that. And then I'm just going to use my candle and I'm gonna push in the foil and the candle together. There we go, so it's at the top. And now you can ask an adult to very carefully light your candle for you. So this Christingle can remind us of so many things. It reminds us of the world and everything in it that God has given us, all of the amazing things we have. It reminds us that God loves us so much, no matter where we are in the world or what season it is. And it reminds us that God sent Jesus down to earth to be the light of the world, to die on the cross to take away our sins and to put that light inside our lives so that we might have hope and feel his love always. In my wrestling and in my doubts, in my failures you won't walk out. Your great love will lead me through. You are the peace in my troubled sea. Whoa, you are the peace in my troubled sea.
hopefully every time you see a pumpkin or a Christingle, it will remind you that Jesus is the light of the world, that he came down to this world to give us light, hope and love, and that he's put that same flame inside us that we can shine that same light to other people. I'm just going to end with a prayer now. So I'm just going to put my hands out and if you'd like to join me that would be awesome. Father God, I thank you so much for everything that we've heard today. Thank you that you created the earth and everything in it, including us. Thank you that you love us in the way that you do and that you want to be close to us no matter what. Thank you for sending Jesus down to earth to take away our sins so that we can stay close to you. Thank you that he brought light into the world and help us to carry on being that light. In your name, Lord Jesus. Amen. Thanks so much for joining me again today, guys. I hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye.